Hello guys, my name is Andres. Welcome to another video from Wise Workflows. In this video, we're going to discuss how to add emotion to Eleven Labs voices. Uh, in case you haven't heard of it, Eleven Labs is one of the top text-to-speech providers we have available as of now. To try what we are going to discuss in this video, you're going to need an Eleven Labs account. So in case you don't have one yet, I will provide a link in the description below so you can subscribe to the service. First things first, you need to make sure you are selecting the right voice for your purposes. What do I mean by this? You need to take into account that 11 Labs voices have been trained with specific type of samples and a voice can only output something similar to what it has received as input or uh, more specifically what it has been trained with as an input. So if you were to select a voice that has been trained mostly with uh, monotone non-emotional samples you would mostly get uh, monotone, non-emotional speeches. With that said, prompting alone will only get you so far if you are not picking the right voice. Nevertheless, we are going to rely on prompting, specifically dialogue tags, to guide the voice we select to generate the emotional outputs we desire. And for comparison purposes, we are going to use a monotone voice and a voice that has been trained specifically with a wide range of emotional samples so we can compare the results in both cases. Okay, so we'll start first with a monotone voice to see if we can get emotion out of it. Let's test uh, Noah. I am in the voice library right now, by the way. Let's see what the description says. A calm and assertive voice, great for news on tech and trendy topics. Well, my guess is that it's going to be very tough for us to get emotion out of a voice that has been tagged with uh, calm. But let's try it. Let's add it to the voice lab. Let's leave the name as it is. Okay, so now let's go to the voice lab and search for Noah. We're going to use it. Okay, so I already have a script here with dialogue tags that we are going to test. Let me copy and paste it. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the script we are using says, are you sure about that? He said confused. Don't test me, she sh he shouted angrily. So we are expecting uh, that uh, the speech generated uh, contains, contains some sort of uh, anger emotion or at least some kind of shout in it. Let's test. We're going to click generate. Are you sure about that? He said confused. Don't test me, he shouted angrily. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we did get some sort of uh, milled shout out of it but uh, all around it was a very uh, homogeneous uh, speech we didn't get much emotion out of it so let's now go back to the voice library and let's now use the search bar to search for something uh, that would indicate the voice has been trained with emotional samples such as emotional Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, let's check Isabel. Uh, as you can see, the description says that uh, the voice is dynamic and youthful, good for characters. Uh, that would indicate it has been trained with a, a wide range of samples that include emotion. So let's add it to the voice lab. To the voice lab. Let's leave the name as it is. Now let's go to the voice lab. And here we have Isabel. Let's click on use. And we're going to try the same script. Let's click on generate. Let's wait a few seconds. Are you sure about that? He said confused. Don't test me, he shouted angrily. Okay, so as you can see, we actually got a much more emotional uh, output. 
So all in all, uh, we have confirmed that uh, voices that mention keywords such as emotional, emotion or dynamic in them uh, are much more easier to steer into uh, generating uh, emotional outputs. Now for testing purposes, uh, let's try another uh, very requested feature from text-to-speech generators, which is whispering. Uh, in this case, I also have a script ready. I am going to copy and paste it. Uh, as you can see, the line reads, when you get to the gate, use the key and make sure to, ne to not let the demon scene with the dialogue tag whispering. So uh, to make a quick uh, test, let's first use uh, uh, a voice that doesn't mention uh, uh, nothing such as uh, whisper or calm or even ASMR to uh, see what we get out of it. Let's try, for example, uh, Drew. Let's click on Generate. Let's wait a few seconds. When you get to the gate, use the key and make sure to not let the demons in whispering. So, uh, as you can see, we didn't get uh, what we expected uh, at all. Uh, that was nothing uh, similar to a whisper. But luckily, uh, we do have a specific voice for whispers in 11 Labs as of now, uh, which is uh, Ethan. For, to find Ethan, I, as you can see, I have uh, recently used it. So it is available at the top uh, of the settings search bar. Uh, to find Ethan, uh, you need to find it specifically in the uh, speech uh, synthesis uh, window. As it is not a community voice, uh, meaning that it has been uh, added by 11 Labs, you are not going to find it in the voice library. You have to search it directly here. As you can see, Ethan has been tagged with Whisper and ASMR, which uh, should uh, give you the, key, the clue that it is going to be exactly what we need. But let's test it. Uh, we are getting the recommendation to switch it to 11 Labs Multilingual uh, version 1 model. Let's click here. Now let's click on Generate and see what we get. When you get to the gate, use the key and make sure to not let the demons in whispering. So as you can see, we got exactly what we needed, which was a whisper. But in this case, uh, it had to do with the fact that Ethan's voice had been trained specifically with uh, whispering. So uh, that reinforces my initial, initial point that uh, we need to make sure we select the right voice for our purposes. So to recap guys, uh, voice selection is key. If you want to be able to add emotion or whispers uh, to a specific uh, audio, you need to make sure you're picking the right voice for your purposes, as you can see. If you need whispers, you're going to need to pick uh, a very specific voice. In this case, uh, I believe Ethan is the only voice available in the level labs right, right now that can do whispers. And if you need emotions, you need to make sure the voice you are using uh, actually has some sort of uh, keyword indicating that is capable of that. Uh, prompting does have its uses, but uh, it will not do much unless you are using the right voice. And finally, as you can see, uh, we are using audio tags, so uh, you may need to edit the audios with your uh, editor of your liking to uh, take out the dialogue tags if needed. So that is pretty much it for now. Uh, if you want to stay tuned, uh, with my coming videos. I am going to be making a series of 11 labs videos and we're going to be reviewing uh, different features uh, such as uh, prompting, how to use the API, uh, specific use cases for specific voices. So if you want to stay in tuned with that, uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and please uh, make sure to like my video if uh, it has been of help for you. Uh, without further ado, uh, I am done for now and see you in the next video.